What's going on guys, Fetty Louie here, bring you guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a high fade on my boy, so stay tuned. He wanted his fade a little bit higher than usual, so I started off with my gold FX and created my first guideline contouring to his head shape. Always remember to stretch the skin with your opposite hand, this will give you more space. Now that we're done balding him out with our trimmers, we can move on to our shave stick and apply it to his skin. This is so he doesn't bump up when we use our foil shaver. Now we're moving on to our babyless foil shavers and we're removing the stubble. Now that we're done removing all the stubble, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make sure this guideline is around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close to help us attack that initial guideline and erase it completely. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated, man. Thank you. With this same guard, we're going to use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Don't forget to also stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more room to blend. As you can tell, we moved on to our half guard and we're trying to erase the line completely using our corners and the lever. So I'm grabbing the foreguard and measuring it against his hair. Uh, once I decided that it was a good length, I opened up the lever and debulked the top. Now that we're done debulking the top, I'm going back to the fade and I'm detailing as much as possible with my lower guards. Now that we're done with our lower guards, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. This is going to help us blend into the top bulk and also use our one and a half guard.
Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Make sure to flick out as much as possible and also stress the skin with your opposite hand to give you more room to blend. After you're done going through your system with your guards, it's always best to use your clipper over cone to smooth out the fade, especially when you see some dark spots that you can remove. Moving on to the back, we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're creating our second guideline. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline and erase it completely. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We are right on top of the symbol bone, so you want to make sure you detail as much as possible here. And also, when you're done softening up the line, switch over to your half guard. As you can see, I'm now switching over to my half guard and I'm using my corners to detail as much as possible. Learning clip roll will come is very crucial, especially when you're a beginner. It makes it easier to sculpt hair and blend in and split. Especially when your fades are a little bit choppy, it's easier to make them more smoother with the clip roll comb method. When you're using clipper over comb, when the hair is long, you want to make sure it's nice and damp so it weighs down. But since the hair is nice and short, it stands up and it's easier to pick up with the comb. So we don't got to worry about dampening the hair. And also, when I'm cutting with my horizontal cuts, I'm debulking. When I'm cutting with my vertical cuts, I'm blending, as you can see. When you're blending your side tapers and uh, sideburns, you always want to stretch the skin as much as possible and always start off with your no guard all the way open. This is to set your first guideline in and uh, begin the fade. Now we're moving on to our one guard all the way open. This guard is also very critical when fading the sideburns, especially when you're blending the beard.
want to make sure not to press too hard and you're very delicate near the neck area because you could nick them or mark them or irritate the skin with the teeth and the trimmers. Moving on to this hairline, we're starting off with our goat FX and we're gonna start off in the middle working our way to the sides. You always wanna make sure not to press too hard cause you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer and also you go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer cause if not then you won't line them up properly and then the hair is gonna move out of the way. Now that we're done detailing and lining them up, we're gonna move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're gonna apply some shave gel so our razor could glide better. When you start using the razor, you want to make sure you stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and also keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This, le this lessens the chance of you cutting someone. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below of my subscriber count. I'm 100% going to reply to it.